In our last two sessions, we discussed a letter from a young man whose friends were pushing him to go out with them every weekend to get drunk. I helped him see that his friends were offering him imitation love and suggested that he fill his life with real love instead. Now back to the writer of the letter. In our society, we have such a fear of losing a friendship. But let me illuminate and perhaps reduce that fear by asking you to imagine that you're preparing to climb a dangerous mountain and you're choosing the team of climbers necessary to help you with that job. This is very important because your life will be in the hands of these people. So you put an advertisement in the newspaper that states, Wanted. Well-trained mountain climbers for long, high-risk climb. Extensive tryout required. Pay to be negotiated at end of climb. After one day, Nobody responds to your ad, so you change the wording of the ad to read like this. Wanted. Climbers for easy day hike. No experience required. Good pay guaranteed. Now a lot of people show up, but when you take them out on the mountain for a test of their skills, you discover that you wouldn't want a single one of them roped to you on a difficult part of the mountain. Similar to climbing a mountain, life can be a pretty difficult journey. And at many of the tough spots, you'll find yourself roped to other climbers on the mountain. If you lie about who you are and where you're going, if you tell people what they want to hear instead of the truth, you might get more people to come along with you on the climb but you will not attract the kind of climbers you'll want roped to you, to whom you could entrust your life during difficult sections of the mountain. If, on the other hand, you tell the truth about yourself and don't try to buy people off with what you say and do, you might get fewer climbers, but the ones you do get will be the kind you'll want to have with you on the journey. They'll be the kind that are well worth waiting for. This doesn't mean you'll never associate with any but the most expert climbers. You'll always have some friends and relatives who will be less experienced and less capable, and hopefully you'll be there on many occasions to offer them a helping hand in whatever part of the journey they find themselves. But do you want them roped to you on the parts of the climb where your life hangs in the balance. When it comes to finding close friends, choose wisely. Advertise who you really are, and then wait to discover who will see you clearly and accept you as you are. The real love you get from such people will carry you a great deal farther than all the cheap support you can buy from anyone who happens by. In your particular situation, simply continue to tell your friends which activities you will participate in and which you will not. Be kind and gracious, but also be clear and firm. If your friends continue to pressure you, now you will understand that they're telling you that their concern is not for your happiness. If they become increasingly irritated, you'll find such supposed friends easy to let go, and with your new commitment to honesty, you'll soon replace them with real friends. Never settle for anything less than real love. Once you've made that decision, you won't feel pressured again. It's a free and powerful way to live.